Ahmedabad. India's first heritage city, as declared by the UNESCO is India's one of the busiest cities and also the former capital of the state of Gujarat. A city overflowed with its heritage is situated on the banks of Sabarmati River. A city with its religion, culture, and its people are blessed with architectural diversity, which forms the key attractions. Ahmedabad has emerged as an important economic and industrial hub in India. In 2010, Ahmedabad was ranked third in Forbes' list of fastest growing cities of the decade. Ahmed Shah I laid the foundation of the city on February 26, 1411 AD. He chose it as the new capital on March 4, 1411. In 1487, Mahmud Begata, the grandson of Ahmed Shah, fortified the city with an outer wall of 10 km in circumference and consisting of 12 gates. Jama Masjid also known as the Jama Masjid was built in the year 1424 during the reign of Ahmed Shah I in the walled city situated outside Badra Fort area. It was probably the largest mosque in the Indian subcontinent at that period of time. Designed as part of a major plan desired by the Emperor Sultan Ahmed Shah. The mosque was built with yellow sandstone. The mosque was originally intended only for the private use of the Sultans. This mosque was built in 1424. The Sultan Ahmed Shah was built in 1424. This mosque was built in 256. और 76 पिलर्स छोटे हुए हैं और 15 डोम है इस मस्जिद के अंदर जो हर गुम्बद की डिजाइन सबकी अलग-अलग है एक जैसी डिजाइन और एक जैसी नक्शे काम आपको पूरी मस्जिद में कहीं भी देखने नहीं मिलेगा और इसके अंदर पांच मेहराब है जो काबा किबला किया जाता है जहां इमाम साहब नमाज पढ़ाते हैं मेहराब पांच है और इसके अंदर 25 विंडो है जो जिसका एक डिजाइन अलग-अलग है नेट का ये मस्जिद अजरत सुल्तान अहमद शाह बादशाह ने बनाई थी जिन्होंने अहमदाबाद शहर बसाया हुआ है Tombs of Ahmed Shah's queens also known as Mogalai Bibi's tomb or Rani no Hajaro is located near Manak Chowk on the east of Ahmed Shah's. The enclosure is high above the ground entered by a lofty gateway and the courtyard surrounded by a trellised cloister. Ahmed Shah's tomb, also known as Raja no Hajaro is a medieval mosque and the group of tombs in Ahmedabad. 
It is located close to Jama Mosque. Morning in India starts with a cup of tea, with vendors stirring and panning their utensils with a boiling flame of smoke coming from the enriching tea. Tea forms the most favorite beverage for the people of India. Salah or Namaz is one of the five pillars in the Islamic faith. It is a physical, mental, and spiritual act of worship that is observed five times every day at prescribed times. Sidi Said Mosque Sidi Said Mosque is arguably one of the most well-known mosques of Ahmedabad as it is famous for its Tree of Life Jolly. This is a straight path of Sidi Sayyid. And it has been made for 446 years. It was made for them, which is the reason of Sidi Sayyid Bawa. This is made for 446 years ago. This is a straight path of Sidi Sayyid Bawa. This is made for this straight path. This is made for this straight path. The mosque was commissioned by the last Gujarat Sultanate and was completed in the last year of its rule. Gujarat Sultanate can be credited for much of the most amazing Islamic architecture, not only in Ahmedabad but also much of Gujarat. It was built in the year 1572 to 73 by an Abyssinian known as the Sidi Said. Badra Kali Temple in Ahmedabad was constructed during the rule of Adizam Khan was believed to be built by the Marathas in the medieval India. The lotus is an ancient and polyvalent symbol in many Asian cultures. Hindus revere it with the gods Vishnu, Brahma, and to a lesser degree Kabura and the goddesses Lakshmi and Saraswati. The goddess is worshipped during famous Navaratri festival which is also the main festival here with nine days of roars, cheers, dances in colorful outfits. Badra Fort which lies in the walled city, was built by Ahmed Shah I in 1411. With its well-carved royal palaces, mosques, gates, and open spaces. It was renovated in 2014 by the Ahmedabad Municipal Corporation and Archaeological Survey of India as a cultural center for the city. Badra Fort housed royal palaces and the beautiful Nagan Bah and the royal Ahmed Shah's mosque. It had a fortified city wall with 14 towers, 8 gates and 2 large openings covering an area of 43 acres. It is believed the fort adopted the name Badra after the temple Badra Kali, which is located next to it. On his return from South Africa, Gandhi's first ashram in India was established in the Kokarab area of Ahmedabad on May 25, 1915. The ashram was then shifted on June 17, 1917 to a piece of open land on the banks of River Sabarmati. Reasons for this shift included, he wanted to do some experiments in living example, farming, animal husbandry, cow breeding, kadi and related construction activities, for which he was in search of this barren land. Mythologically, 
the ashram is the site of Dadhaki Rishi who had donated his bones for a righteous war. The Sabarmati ashram was home to Mohandas Gandhi from 1917 until 1930 and served as one of the main centers of the Indian freedom struggle. Originally called the Satyagraha Ashram, reflecting the movement toward passive resistance launched by the Mahatma, the ashram became home to the ideology that set India free. By conceiving such a vision Gandhi and his followers hoped to foster a new social construct of truth and non-violence that would help to revolutionize the existing pattern of life. People in Ahmedabad are a little inclined towards health. Marathon form a regular event that makes people run for health. Adalag Stepwell located in the village of Adalag was built in the year 1498 in the memory of Rana Veer Singh by his wife Queen Ruta Devi. It is a fine example of Indian architecture work. In Gujarati and in Marwari language, the step well is called Bhav, but in the regions of North India it is generally called Bhavdi. Built in sandstone in the Salangi architectural style, the Adalaya step well is five stories deep. It was built in 1498. The temperatures inside the well is said to be about five degrees lower than the outside hot summer temperatures. This encouraged the women who came to fetch water to spend more time in the cool climate here. A tribute paid to the rich underground structures, which are intricately decorated with sculptures, which are said to resemble palaces. The Gujarati food cannot be missed and there is nothing better than having great street food in the bustling city of Ahmedabad. The food here is tempting and full of different spices and flavors. Ahmedabad cuisine mainly consists of vegetarian dishes. There are many Gujarati dishes that are relished not just by the Gujarati community, but by the people of all communities. Shah-e Alam also known as Rasul Abbot Darga is a medieval mosque and tomb complex in Shah Alam area of Ahmedabad. Shah-e Alam was the son of Hazrat Syed Burhanuddin Qutbul Alam. A group of buildings, a tomb, a mosque, and an assembly hall, enclosed by a lofty and bastionied wall was erected in the sacred to the memory of Shah-e Alam. The tomb of Shah-e Alam is situated roughly in the center of the east end of Rosa. West of the tomb is the mosque built by Muhammad Salah Badakshi, with minarets at either end begun by Nazabat Khan. Bibaji's Masjid was built in AD 1454 by Budan bin Sayyid Yaqut in the memory of his wife. This mosque is a vast ponderous building with a triple arched facade and buttresses a ch taller than the other. The northern end of the mosque has a royal gallery with porched entrance which has a remarkable carved dome with a spiral pendant in the center. The tomb and mosque were again damaged in 2001 Gujarat earthquake and was restored by Archaeological Survey of India.
इस जुलता मीनारा बीबी जी मस्जिद जो अहमद शाह अहमद शाह बादशाह ने इसको तमीर किया है उनकी वालिदा की याद में और उनके इंतकाल के बाद उनके लड़के मुजफ्फर शाह अहमद शाह मोहम्मद शाह अहमद शाह बादशाह दोनों के लड़कों ने मिलकर इस मस्जिद को कम्प्लीट किया और उन्नीस सौ के अंदर इसका फाउंडेशन रखा या चौदह में इसका फाउंडेशन रखा और चौदह के अंदर ये मस्जिद का पूरी तमीरी काम हो चुका उनकी वालिदा का मज़ार भी इसी कब्रस्तान में रखा गया है इसका इस इस कब्रस्तान का नाम बीबी जी मस्जिद झुलता मीनारा कब्रस्तान है उनके अंदर एक मकबरा बना गया और उनकी वालिदा को वहाँ दफन किया गया था इसकी खासियत यह है मीनारे की कि एक मीनारा हिलाने से दूसरा मीनारा भी हिलता है और इसके बहुत से अपने मुल्क के लोग यहाँ आते हैं जैसा कि ईरान से शफी आए थे शेख अफ्तार साहब और इंग्लैंड की टीम आई थी Sarkej Rosa comprises one of the most elegant and unique architectural complexes of Ahmedabad. In its architecture, Sarkej Rosa is an example of the early Islamic architectural culture of the region, which fused Islamic stylistic influences from Persia with indigenous Hindu and Jain features to form a Hindu and Jain features to form a composite Indo-Saracenic architectural style. Sheikh Ahmed Ganjay Bakshir of Anhiwad, the friend and advisor of Ahmed Shah I, retired to Sarkej in his later life and died here in 1445. मैं हसीब मंसूरी हूँ ये सरखेज रोजा का सरखेज रोजा है यहाँ शेख अहमद गिन बख्श खट्टू रहमत लाल का मज़ार है उनका मकबरा है उनके नाम से मकबरे के नाम से आखिर है गाँव की मकरबा के नाम से मशहूर है सरखेज रोजा अहमदाबाद के हरियाणा पश्चिम किनारे पे है और यहाँ 600 साल पहले शेख अहमद गिन बख्स आए आए थे यहाँ के बादशाह उनको चाहते थे तो इसलिए उनको यहाँ रोक रो, 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 रोका गया था तो शेख अहमद बजे यहाँ बसे लोग सेवा करते रहे और उन्होंने यहाँ मदरसा भी काम किया था और लंगर खाना भी चलता था सब लोग उनसे फेस पाते थे और उनका नाम लकब भी है गंज बख्स यानी खजाना लुटाने वाले यानी इसलिए लोगों को बहुत फ़ायदा इनसे मिलता था और यहाँ उस ज़माने के इनके इस साल के बाद उनकी मृत्यु के बाद उनके बादशाह थे उन्होंने उनका मकबरा बनवाया और मस्जिद ही बनाई Team Darwaza is a historical gateway on the east of Badra Fort, Ahmedabad, India. Completed in 1415, it is associated with historical as well as legendary events. Manak Burjay is the foundation bastion of the Badra Fort of the old city of Ahmedabad named after 15th century legendary Hindu Saint Manak Nath. It lies close to the century old bridge called the Ellis Bridge across the Sabarmati River. It was the first bridge constructed in 1892 in Ahmedabad. Original wooden bridge was constructed by British engineers in 1870 to 71 at a cost of rupees 5, 49, 200. Cut button mosque belongs to the reign of Sultan Muhammad Shah II was constructed by Nizam's son of Hilal in 1449 AD. The mosque is stiff in proportion and rigid in style. It is roofed by five large and ten smaller domes. 
There are five arched entrance. The mosque is also known as Pathar Valley Masjid by local people. Yaholta Minar, also known as Sidi Bashir Mosque or Shaking Minarets is believed to have been constructed either by Sidi Bashir, a slave of Sultan Ahmed Shah. The minarets are three stories tall where gentle shaking of either minaret results in the other minaret vibrating after a few seconds, though the connecting passage between them remains free of vibration. Ahmed Shah Mosque, the oldest mosque of the city, is a religious place for Muslims that is well known for its architectural designing. It was constructed in the year 1414 AD by Sultan Ahmed Shah. It's said to have been used as the royal household's private mosque. Sayyid Usman Mosque Sayyid Usman Mosque is a medieval tomb and mosque in Usmanpura built by Mahmud Begata in 1460 dedicating Sayyid Usman the minister of Kutub ul Alam. It is architecturally similar to Ganja Baksh tomb at Sarkej Rosa. The mosque is a pure Hindu style without an arch. Mata Bhavani's step well was built in the 11th century during Sholakya dynasty rule in Gujarat. It is one of the earliest existing examples of step wells in India. A long flight of steps leads to the water below a sequence of multi-story open pavilions positioned along the east-west axis. The elaborate ornamentation of the columns, brackets, and beams are a prime example of how step wells were used as a form of art. Rani Sipri Mosque, is a medieval mosque in the walled city of Ahmedabad. This mosque was commissioned in 1514 by Queen Sipri, the wife of Mahmud Begata, a sultan who ruled Gujarat. It is also known as Masjidina Shina because of the intricate jolly carvings on its walls. The mosque is named after the Hindu queen of Sultan Mahmud Begata, Rani Sipri. The queen commissioned this mosque in 1514 when her husband executed their son for some misdemeanor. Kutubi Alam's Mosque and Tomb, also known as Vatba Darga is a medieval mosque and tomb complex in Vatba area of Ahmedabad. Hazrat Syed Burhanuddin Kutubul Alam, the father of Shahi Alam, was attracted to the court of Ahmed Shah I settled at Vatba and died there in 1452. He founded the Bukharia sect of Gujarat. The nobles of the courts of Ahmed Shah, Sultan Kutubuddin Ahmed Shah II raised a small shrine first. Afterwards a mosque, a tomb to one of his sons, a large many-sided pond, and a vast mausoleum was built by Mahmud Begata. Dada Harirvav, in the quiet neighborhood of Asarway village, northeast of the Wald, tucked away between a sleepy residential area and the coal yards of Ahmedabad on a little side street, you will find Dada Harirvav. The step well was built in 1485 by Dai Harrier. BRTS forms an important part of the people of Ahmedabad for transportation.
The lorry wala will step out in the evening to sell their products every day. Gujarat University, a state university situated at Ahmedabad was established in 1949. The university is an affiliating university at the undergraduate level and a teaching university at the postgraduate level. Built in the times of communal tension and social unrest in the region hundreds of years ago, the Pals are a conglomeration of houses that were usually inhabited by people and families linked together with caste, culture, or profession. With huge courtyards a Gujarati household essential, intricately carved wooden facades and frescoes and colorful exteriors. The Pals were not only bright and lively but also strategically built for safety and security during the war. Indian Railways forms the heart line for the people of India as it is cheap and most convenient mode of passenger transport. Jamalpur Flower Market, city's largest flower market was started in 1989 and thereafter it is continued with the same trade over generations. One can see diversity of flowers like marigold, mogra, galad, rajanagandha, yaharmara. From here, the flowers are sold to the various retailers of the city. A walk through Ravivari or the Sunday's Market is a bustling bazaar and flea market located on the east bank of the Sabarmati in Ahmedabad. The residue of a city and its many processes, its living heritage and repaired items, often find themselves washed up on the shore of its flea markets. These remnants of lives led in the city, of used furniture and unused toys, well-worn books and fresh crockery are put on display in these markets. This market is said to have been the initiative of Sultan Ahmed Shah, started over 600 years ago and operated on Fridays. As the Emperor Ahmed Shah sleeps peacefully in his tomb, his city will stay awake till its glory.